Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We have a treat for you today. We didn't plan on having any filming at all, even up until like 15 minutes ago. And um, but we want to share this with you. We have babies that are hatching in the incubator. We had a broody hen that um, is Jolene, and we gave her eggs. And uh, she broke broody. She actually made it all the way to day 16, which is pretty good. And, uh, you know, you want to do your last candling on all your eggs on day 17 before she goes to, into her lockdown period. Long story short, she broke broody. And I went out there, and I was worried that she wasn't going to go back to the eggs. So I grabbed the eggs. There were actually five of them. And I brought them in. And um, there were actually six originally. She broke one. Five remained. I brought them in. One was not viable, so I put the rest. I put the four in here. Well, last week we had hatched some babies. Okay, last Monday we had four eggs in here. Um, three of the four hatched. One didn't make it. It hatched on day 17, which was amazing. Um, it didn't make it, unfortunately. But two more hatched. But there was this one little egg that was just hanging out. Didn't hatch looked good. I looked at it. I thought, well, I just don't know. Long story short, I left it in the incubator. So since then, we've brought in Jolene's eggs, since she turned out to, uh, you know, do her own thing. And um, I put those eggs in here, and they are supposed to hatch. Here's my all, I write all over this calendar. All my days of when we pay bills or when we hatch eggs. So down here on, t on the 24th, which is today, day 21, is when Jolene's eggs are supposed to hatch. Every one of them have hatched. And I told myself, okay, well, once they all hatch, and one of our white eggs, we finally have a white egg that hatched. They're so cute. Um, I thought, well, once they hatch, and everybody looks good and is up and around, I'm going to reach in there real quick. And that lonely egg that has never hatched, I'm going to grab it. I'm just, okay, it's been almost a full week, which maybe my timing was a little bit off, but uh, not too far. And I wanted to show you this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it at the moment. Yeah, right there. I got in here, and there's all four of these babies that have hatched. Four of the five that hatched. I don't know about this one over here, but I may leave it. There, this baby is hatching. This baby was supposed to have hatched approximately one week ago today. You always want to give yourself a couple of days leadway. I actually was going to give it until the weekend, which would have pushed it. I'm looking at my calendar, 22, 23, 24, 25. This past Friday or Saturday would have pushed it in the 25-day. I've never gone past 25 days. And for some reason, I just, I don't know. I just was looking at it, and look, they're all over it. And I thought, I don't know, something told me, just leave it. Let these babies hatch. If it smells okay, if it looks okay, just, just leave it. And I left it. And so now that these babies have hatched, I reached in there to pick it up. Because you're not supposed to technically open the incubator if you feel that you know the baby's hatching or pipping or anything at all. You're supposed to leave it all alone. And I just kind of picked up, picked it up, and I rolled it over from the bottom, and it is pipping and it is chirping. So I just want to tell you that even though everybody tells you statistically this or that or the other, always go with your gut feeling. I've said this before on other videos, and to some folks that sounds a little bit mushy. So what? Um, but my gut feeling told me just wait on this baby. So. Hopefully, uh, look, you can see it, Pip. You can see it. Look, 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 look. You, I cannot believe this. We've had a baby hatch that was scotch tape. We've had a baby hatch at 17 days. Um, that this baby was, I mean, honestly, I had, I hate to say it, I had mentally and emotionally kind of written it off. So, because it's sort of depressing, I think, to have to go, okay, it didn't make it. Or, okay, but that happens. Life and death in a homestead, right? And this baby is making it. So hopefully it's going to hatch out here in just a little bit. We're going to get that on film for you. This is a late hatching on this baby. And uh, we're just real excited. I wanted to share it with you. So we appreciate it, you know, y'all watching. And hopefully we'll get more footage. And be sure to subscribe if you like what you see here at Appalachia's Homestead. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and our blog. And hopefully here in just a little bit, along with these other little babies, you'll see this miracle. Y'all take care.